Happy last day of December, everybody, and the last day of the 2020 year. Uh, for my book, I thought it would be a nice one to start out the brand new year. It is called Unstoppable Me. 10 Ways to Soar Through Life. And it's by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer with Christina Tracy. Okay? Unstoppable Me, 10 Ways to Soar Through Life. Number one, you're great no matter what. You are worthwhile simply because you're alive. Never forget this and you're sure to thrive. Learn from your mistakes and you'll get stronger as you grow. Believe you'll succeed and then make it so. If you value yourself and all that you are, you'll be unstoppable, the next superstar. I had a part in the big school play. Unfortunately, I forgot all my lines today. Some kids laughed and I wanted to hide, but I still believe I'm a star inside. So tonight when I'm standing in that brilliant spotlight, no matter what happens, I'll be all right. Number two, persistence pays off. When there's something in your life that you want to do, once you begin, you must follow through. It's not about talent or if you are smart. It's about never quitting something you start. Don't tell yourself I can't or dwell on mistakes. Patience and determination are really all that it takes. Every day after school, I practice my guitar. I know I can be just as good as any rock star. I don't ever give up when my chords sound wrong. I play them over and over till I nail that song. My friends all say, can't you play something new? But to get where I want, I know what I have to do. Number three, welcome the unknown. Change is a good thing. It happens every day. If you learn this when you're young, it will help you on your way. Each day is different from the day before, and it sometimes feels scary when opening a new door. But if you don't fear change and embrace it instead, life will be an adventure and you'll look forward to what's ahead. I've always spent the summer with my best friend Shay, but this year mom sent me to sleepover camp, which seemed so far away. I cried and I yelled, I won't know anyone. But dad said, try it. I know you'll have such fun. And guess what? He was right. I had nothing to fear. I had such a blast that I'm going longer next year. Number four, you have a choice. Rely on yourself and be true to who you are. What's unique about you is what will take you far. Don't look to others to say you're okay. You know it, so believe it. Show your own self the way. Don't blame others for the things you say or do. Every choice that you make is all up to you. Sometimes I think too much about what others do and say. I feel so small around them. They must know the right way. But then I stop and listen to that little inside voice, the one that whispers in my heart, you always have a choice. So I pause and I think, what's the best way for me? Only I know who and what I want to be. Number five, farewell to worry. If you want to be unstoppable, there's something you must know. Worrying can bring you down and cause helpless feelings to grow. Just try to remember when stressful thoughts attack, that positive actions on your part are the best way to fight back. So talk to someone if you're feeling blue. Tell them about your thoughts because sharing your burdens can help you through many of life's rough spots. Last night, I was so worried about today's spelling test. I could barely concentrate on studying and it, I didn't get much rest. So this morning when I woke up, I told my mom how I felt. She gave me a hug, we practiced my words, and my worries started to melt. 
I'll do the best I possibly can, and that's enough for me. It feels so good to take control. I feel confident and free. Number six, peace begins with you. If you want peace inside your heart, don't let anger in. It's just a feeling after all, it doesn't have to win. When you're mad and let it change the things you say and do, not only do you hurt yourself, but those around you too. So take your anger, let it go, and learn to rise above. Then you can create a better world, one filled with peace and love. I was just watching some ants at work when out came my brother, Tim. He stepped on their hills and I was so mad, I really wanted to hit him. But instead, I hopped, hopped up on my swing and let my anger fly away and thought of how my brother and I could find a nice way to play. I felt proud because I chose the peaceful way to be. When I have peace inside my heart, life seems much better to me. Number seven, enjoy the here and now. Your past is now behind you and it has taught you many things. You also have your future and you wonder what it will bring. All these things to think about can cause your head to spin. So remember this key to happiness, enjoy the moment that you're in. Take pleasure in the here and now. Don't always be on the run. The road you take to reach your goal should be part of the fun. Last week when I got a new kite, I took it out to fly, but it was harder than it looked and I got mad when it didn't go high. That's when my dad said, take a breath and slow it down a hair. It's not just the goal that brings you joy, it's the path you take to get there. And when I stopped to look around, I saw that he was right. I saw my family having fun and the beautiful colors of my kite. Number eight, healthy me. Your body is amazing. Pay attention and you'll find your body responds to what you think, what you put inside your mind. So tell yourself often, I'm healthy and I'm strong. And if you happen to get sick, know that you won't be for long. Good thoughts and good humor are truly the best start for a super healthy mind, body, spirit, and heart. I just love to play outside getting exercise and fresh air. My dog and I stay out until dark when my grandma calls, come in Claire. At dinner, we sit down to my dad's spaghetti, which I know is good for me. While at the table, we talk and laugh and enjoy our family. When I go to bed, my body feels great from everything I've done. Taking care of my body and staying healthy is actually lots of fun. Number nine, creativity is the key. When it comes to your greatness, creativity is the key because with it, there's no limit to what you can be. Being creative can mean so many things. It's finding your own way to meet the challenges life brings. So if you have ideas for your own way to shine, just stay true to yourself and you will do just fine. I love to be different and wacky and wild. Dad says I'm his creative child. Like when I make a cake, it's unique and fun. I don't always do things the way they should be done. It doesn't matter to me if people think I am strange. I am unstoppable and I don't need to change. Number 10, what can you give? What is a life full of meaning and purpose? One that's truly limit free? It's when you learn to look outside yourself and not always think, what about me? It means seeing goodness and beauty everywhere you turn and taking every experience in life as a chance for you to learn. It's being at peace every day with respect for all things that live and not wondering what you can get, but wondering what you can give. Dane, asked my grandpa, what brings you joy? I answered, candy, of course, or a brand new toy. He smiled at me and said, I'm sure that is true. 
But there is much more that can bring joy to you. Love and friendship and learning to give will make your life fulfilling and a pleasure to live. Have a very happy new year and I will see you next year.